Alrighty, so now we have finalized the unpackaging process. We have untacked our mobile platform on the HH production line, and we are now going to move it out of the way and commence with the lifting of both port and starboard engines for the Sabre 45 build. So now what we're doing is I kind of just roughly get it in the neighborhood where you use the crane hoist to get it down on your ribs itself. And this is still very taut. Like a good 95% of the weight of the overall engine is still on our brace here. And now we can actually come in, mess with the feet, get them all symmetrical the way that they should and get them directly above the pre-drilled and tapped holes that will facilitate the bolts for the engine mounting process. So here we are, we got the port and starboard engines in their homes. I'll need to take out both of the factory hose barbs from the banjo fitting on our fuel filters and start connecting lines, doing the dry and wet exhaust, etc., etc. All right, so here we are concluding the initial mounting process of the engines with both port and starboard being completely secured down. And from here, we will branch into facilitating our bellows for the exhaust system that will eventually be spliced into all of our muffler cans on the back. We will connect said fuel hoses to the corresponding hose barbs. Finally, we also have to take our oil return lines on both engines and run them to our corresponding Reverso oil siphoning system. And that also accommodates both engines and the generator, which will eventually be right here. And that's about it. There's all the electrical stuff is dealt with gentleman Bob here. And uh, as soon as I finish up my exhaust, the oil lines and the fuel lines, that's kind of the end of the whole process right there. 